Hello guys, welcome to this channel. This is Ghana Premier League. I started to talk about everything concerning Ghana football, Ghana sports, any single thing there is to know when it comes to the sporting horizon of Ghana Remwa to turn on post notifications, subscribe, and also don't forget to share the link to some friends for them also to come and watch what's going on on this channel. Yeah, welcome back to this channel. Once again, Ghana Premier League Extra. We'll be talking about two things. Ghana um, under 15 is also making a name for Ghana. It's hoisting a flag of Ghana High somewhere in Niger. Also, we come to Ghana and talk about how to fuck versus Kotoko, the super clash. When and where is going to take place. Full details are what we are going to bring you in this very video. So that's why you need to like the video. It's new to subscribe and also turn on post notifications and send a link. Let's take a look and make sure that you send money on this channel. Use pay into the send money. Use promo code 11 to send money on this channel. Send money home abroad using pay angel and you enjoy very quick and free transaction over there now let's take that quick thing and move right into the video right welcome back to this channel this is ghana premier league extra let's start with the um, domestic news yes so Ghana Premier League Super Clash match the 13 is set to take on or to take off and then the fixture the date you know has been something that um, they are still contemplating on but we are currently um, yet to play the match the top match the top Kotoko will travel the way to Nana Ajima Bedu Park in Doma to square off with Adriano over the house has to work at home at the University of Ghana sports team will also and be host as they play in Swatraman Football Club. After that, now the next game week, it's when Hato Folk and Kotoko will face with Kotoko playing home. So it'll be Kotoko versus Hato Folk on the face. Now the time, no, the dates, any venue, you know, you know Kotoko is currently playing in Obasi, but the news reaching me is that Kotoko will move to Kumasi to play that game. Kotoko will move to Kumasi to play that game. They don't want to play that game in Obasi. Currently, the decision is that they will move to Kumasi to play that game. And also the dates, uh, being confirmed that it's going to be postponed to and it will be played after the election so after the election and a game no so kotoko versus start to focus the super clash of this season you know, will uh, take off on 15th december to so 15th december sunday a game no ebe nya aba so ehu kumase baba yara sports time 3 pm the super clash of 2024-2025 season we will talk more about it after this game week we will build up more into it then the anticipation of the game will be higher and higher we all move to kumase to witness the good football over there so that is that 15th december at the kumase baba yara sports stadium kotoko versus atofok any decision ever after that we i'll let you know on this channel so do all to share the link to a friend for them also to come enjoy what goes on on this channel the next one is ghana um some players from ghana are actually doing well in a calf competition ghana our, our ghana our under 15 boys and girls are playing in a competition currently or oh, in niger niami yes niger niami and then how it is going you know uh, what we have in this video i had uh, bro the tournament is going very well for um ghana under 15 you, you you know ghana has been um organizing a 15 tournament lately and it was a preparatory match for this one over here and that is what we've got now finally ghana has qualified to the grand final in the ladies edition and the men's edition they were um, scored or they were beaten in a semi-final uh, game by um Cote d'Ivoire. so semi-final game now the men's edition we had two games going on over the benin um beat burkina faso by two ghosts you know that was in the boys edition benin beat burkina faso by two ghosts you know whilst a uh, Cote d'Ivoire um, also made sure that they beat ghana by a goal to nil so could have also beat ghana by a goal to nil in the girls edition the girls they are actually doing very very well the girls are doing very very well because in the result of the girls in you know, know the girls really fought for ghana pa, 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 pa. in their first game against burkina faso they beat them by two goals to one of the group stages in the second game in the group stage they also beat niger by 10 goals to nil 
10 goals to you know which meant that in the two group games you know they scored two of and considered one the girls are doing super 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 fantastic over there the semi-final game was when they played against la cote de Vaso. but before that benin also squared off his working offer so the game ended 1-1 where benin won on penalties by three to one so benin qualified to the final as the first team the second team to secure the place you know, was between ghana and also la Cote d'Ivoire. The game ended with Ghana beating Cote d'Ivoire by two goals to one, which means our girls of the semi-final in the camera, they scored 14 goals and considered just two. But the girls are actually favorites to, to win the competition now, currently. As from where I'm starting, the girls are favorites to win the competition now. It is called Africa uh, Zone B African Schools Championship. Zone B African Schools Football um, Championship qualifiers. You know? So Zone B is a year bonus. So we um, will be back about final on um, um, AFCON, no? Africa School Championship AFCON no? later in uh, next year how our girls and boys will fare over there so that's good good news as ghana um, the ladies and the girls are doing very well they are now into this finals they will square off with um, benin over there we will let you know when the game is going to be played now we anticipate no matter what goes on over there the girls have actually done very very well. the boys also did not disagree with themselves at least um they couldn't make it to the final but then they still really forced so the boys in the first game they played a one or draw with burkina faso and in their second game they beat benin or niger they beat niger by five goals to nil so and also Osha, the boys were also flying on all squares and cylinders it's just a part of the game that they couldn't get um what we wanted so that is the news from there from ghana and that 15 and teams on both the men and the um, female that is something positive for us thank you so much for joining us on this channel don't forget to send money using pay angel use promo code one one when you want to send money from abroad to home or from home to abroad use pay angel and you will enjoy a very good transaction rate a very fast transaction also reliable transactions over there and don't forget to anticipate the super clash of ghana premier league 2024-2025 season come 15th december 2024 at the Kumasi Barbara Sports Stadium. Every update, everybody in that course, and I'll bring it to you on this channel. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and also turn on post notifications. I'll see you in the next one.